When you're first working on your system, you want to make sure that the electricity is disengaged. So you can go to your charging box, pull this portion out. This basically protects you from uh, putting electricity to, towards your system. You want to go ahead and take that out. You can lift on there. I typically close this so that I can protect the box from there. To remove this panel, there's going to be two screws that you're going to move right here. And then on the other side right here. And this panel slips out pretty easily. The thing I always suggest is always taking a picture because what ends up happening is that with your capacitor you may not know where the wires go so make sure that you get a good color coordination of these. If you notice these three wires are going to be purple, brown, and black so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the black wiring which is actually this wiring right here from this relay, this um, purple one on this leg and also this black one but what we're going to do is we're going to cut off um, this um, bundling first make sure you don't cut the actual uh, wire itself you don't want to end up redoing it but if you notice within here um, these three wires lead through here so we're going to take off um, the brown wiring right here we're going to take off the purple wiring right here. And then we're going to also take the black wiring off of here. And we're going to feed this through and then... Uh... Okay, so we've taken the screws out and we removed the wire and push it back in. We're going to take this fan unit off to make sure that you work it maybe stuck. We're going to loosen it up on the sides. Now we pull this unit out. We're going to go ahead and lay it on this side over here. If you notice, with the wiring, you want to come up for a close up shot. The wiring is what we've removed on here, and you see in the purple, black, and brown wiring. And just make sure you come out of here and you lay it out to the side so that some of the fan fins get damaged. And uh, so, <coughs> when you take a look at these screws right here, um, these are, are what attach this outside unit and protects it. So we're going to take off all of these screws uh, from this portion down to this portion all the way around so that we can pull this unit out. Okay, so now that we've removed all the screws out from the outside, we're going to take this outside portion. So you just want to kind of gingerly take this portion out and loosen it up first to take it out. And remember, it is a flexible portion, so it may bend out like this. So you just kind of want to take it out and leave it out to the side. If it's a particularly windy day today, you know, it may blow over, so be careful with that. So when you look at this unit, uh, this unit hadn't been cleared in years. And um, you see all these different types of parts right here with um, all this type of debris. And you can use your hand, basically kind of remove a lot of this stuff off. And um, that you can take it off. You can also use a shop bag to remove a lot of this stuff off as well. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to be cleaning uh, a lot of this off. And if you notice the grass down here, um, there's a lot of a lot of grass that's built up on the side. And um, basically, when you, what you're going to do is you're going to clean all that out. I usually do it with my hand first, but uh, we're going to go ahead and clean it from the outside. Um, in so As you've noticed with this, if you look at all the dirt that is on the ground, that's all from this unit. This unit had been cleaned in a couple years, um, but it's a good thing we rinsed all the dirt out. And basically, you'll notice the dirt gets poured out uh, through these drain holes on the bottom. 
And um, remember, inside out, and you can actually see the water flow down and the dirt flow down on this. And we're gonna go ahead and reattach the unit. And uh, remember, we're gonna put the electricity back and put the um, uh, line back in here, and then put it all back together and finish up.